so it's my last week here in Bangkok. I can't believe my trip to Asia is coming to an end. I'll be in Paris for a little bit before I head back home. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about my trip a few weeks ago to Siam Reap. I actually went to visit a fair trade silk factory and being the city girl that I am, I actually learned a lot. I had no idea how silk was made. What was great about that experience is to see how many fair trade organizations are based out of Cambodia and are helping the community. So naturally today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to start your own fair trade company. Having a fair trade store is a great way to make an impact within a community while building a sustainable business. And today's consumers care about what they buy, its origin, and its social footprint. How can you make a difference and create a sustainable fair trade business? First, decide on your mission statement. What are you passionate about? Which community are you interested in helping? Did you recently travel and felt the need to help that specific community? Or perhaps it's your local community? Answer these questions in order to decide which vendor you'd like to work with. Second, set up a shop with minimum or no inventory. There are different websites out there that provide lists of vendors and products that are fair trade. So they include sustainabilitystore.com, fairtradefederation.org, and serve.org. Contact these vendors and ask them about what their best sellers are, what their minimum for wholesale is, and whether or not they're open to drop shipping. You definitely don't want to be in a situation where you have too much inventory and not able to sell it. Make sure to test out different products to get a sense as to what customers will buy from you. Third, research shipping and importing taxes. For example, in the US, any shipment that's under a $2,000 value can go through more informal entry, uh, as long as you have all the custom forms in place. Now, I really encourage you to leverage all the shipping calculators that are out there in the US. UPS has a great one, for instance, and do all the proper math. You might also want to consider to ship everything to Amazon Fulfillment, depending on how big your inventory is, and they can take care of all the dispatching for you. Now, make sure to do all the math to get a sense of what your potential price points could be. Make sure to also watch my previous episode on the topic. Alright guys, well that's it for today. If you have any questions, make sure to add them in the comments section. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next week. I'll be in Paris, my hometown. Yeah, did you know I'm French? Yeah, I'm French. <laughs> Alright guys, bye.